Just wanted to take you through some of the key features coming up in Teleprompter Cloud launching next week. Uh, I've had a bunch of questions from some of you, so just thought it'd be good to show you some of the features and how it works. So when you log into Teleprompter Cloud for the first time, you will see an empty dashboard here. I've already got some previous scripts here, um, but this will all be blank for new users. And from this page, you can create new scripts or you can create a new folder. Um, obviously, I've got a bunch of folders here that you can manage your scripts within. So I'll take you through the whole process. We'll create a new top level folder here and we'll call it demo video folder. Create that. As you can see, this has created the folder, but there's no scripts within the folder. You can create as many subfolders as you need to organize your scripts however you need to do so. So we're just going to create a new script. We're going to give it a script name. And we're going to choose the parent folder we wish to hold this within. We'll keep it in the demo video folder. We're going to keep the background color of the whole script as black. And I've got a script over here I'm just going to paste in, like so. Now, here is my script editor view. My script is pasted in, and any changes I need to make to this script, I can do here. So let's just take you through some of the, the more key features. You can change the font of the script using this drop down here. I like to use monospace for my scripts. Um, you can obviously change the size to make it a little larger, a little easier to read that way. Um, you can make some of the words bold, should you need to highlight them a little bit to yourself. You can underline others. And of course, you can make some of this italics. Now, we can also change the color of some of this text. So we highlight it here. We choose the color drop down and we select red. Additionally, you can change the highlight color. So we highlight this and we can make that green. We can justify this text in any way we want. I like to keep it to the left and we can also add bullet points should we need to. So let's go ahead and save that now into our folder. And this will return, this will just successfully notify us that we successfully saved the script. From this now we can either play the script, but first of all I'm going to go back to my dashboard. You do this by clicking the icon up the top here. And you can see in the folder is the script. So we'll click play. And this takes you to the prompt of view. Now, here is where I can play, pause, stop, re reverse the direction of the script, or make it full screen. Let's stick it on four to start with. And as you can see, the script begins to scroll. You can speed this up or slow this down however you need to. Keyboard controls is a great feature. In here, you can select which keys you want to do which actions on the teleprompter. So I've got play and pause as P, stop as the space bar, restart the script as S, speed up and speed down as plus and minus. It shows equals there because that's what's actually on the key. Page up and page down as the page up and page down keys. And I can toggle the full screen by using escape. So I can give that a go now. Oopsie daisy, I've accidentally enabled mirror mode. We can come back to that in a little while. Let's just turn that off for now. Um, we hit P and it begins to play. I can increase the speed by using the plus key and I can decrease the speed using the minus key. I can then stop it using space. And as you just saw, mirror mode is also included for use in professional teleprompter rigs. I can turn mirror mode on and it will flip the degrees, flip the script, at 90 degrees along the horizontal axis should you wish to read your script from a mirror. I'm sure most of you know what that is. So I can play it here, restart the script, and as you can see it continues to scroll. You can turn mirror mode off at any time. Another great feature is the countdown timer. So if you're recording the video entirely yourself, you might want 10 seconds to get behind the camera. In this instance, we'll call it four, as to, so as not to bore you. And when I hit play now, it's gonna give me a four second countdown before my script begins, and then we're ready to go.
Another great feature is sharing. You can share any of your scripts by going into the sharing settings here. You turn this on, which generates a shareable link that you can share with your teammates, your, your crew, whoever you wish, you know, your best man at your wedding, whoever you wish to send the script to, and they can then use the script without any of the settings or, or, or additional features there to confuse them. So that's another great feature, we think. Of course, not all of these features are available in our free plan. So just to take you through how our pricing works, I can go into my account and you can change your plan at any time. Everybody starts off on the free plan um, and it's free forever. You can create five scripts and have one user, um, but you don't get the, the option to use mirror mode, the, the remote control, or, or you can't share your scripts. Um, a plan that's great for personals, you can create up to 20 scripts, you can have mirror mode and you do get that Bluetooth control. Um, if you want the shareable scripts, you can upgrade to the production plan, which is just $29 per month. And then if you need more than that, you can get in touch and we'll be happy to assist you. So I do hope that clarifies some of the questions you may have. Um, and please do feel free to ask any others. And of course, this will be launching on Wednesday, the 5th of April. Thank you.